In this video, we are going to show you how to remove the speedometer cluster from Toyota Prius 2008, which is similar to the other years. The common problem with this cluster, uh, they intermittently, you, they lose power and you cannot see anything in the cluster. And the tools that you need is just this uh, dashboard removal tool, this yellow tool, plus a 10 millimeter and 12 millimeter socket, Phillips screwdriver, and uh, just a nose plier. Before you start removing the cluster, you should just disconnect the battery terminal, either negative or positive, before you start taking the part apart. Uh, the first step, you remove the AC vent on the driver's side. And by the way, we already made everything loose. This is just for demonstration only. So it's, you might a little bit struggle to remove this part, so you have to pop it out. Once you get the AC vent out, you need to remove this uh, Phillips screw, one here and one under the dash. And now you can pop the panel underneath the steering column. After you drop the panel and then you can pop out the top cover. And now you can remove the AC vent, um, all three pieces, and the two around the monitor and one on the right side. And uh, one on the passenger side. There you go. In this step, you remove the glove box. You open it up, and there are two. There are two screws over here, which they are covered with the plastic piece. You need to remove this uh, plastic covers first, and then you can remove the screw. And once you get the screw out, then you can remove the whole compartment. Now in this step, you remove the bottom glove box. You need to remove this pin. And then what, to get the glove box out, you have to push the plastics on both sides of the glove box compartment. And then you just drop it down. And that's it. Now in this step, you remove the monitor. They have a size 10 millimeter socket. There are one on the driver's side, and then there is one bolt on the passenger side, the size 10. Once you get those two bolts out, then you can remove the monitor. And then you can, after you can just unplug it. After you remove the monitor, first you disconnect the connectors. So these two connectors over here. And then there is a connector on the passenger side, this is for the airbag. Disconnect that one. Now you remove the screws for the dashboard. This is a Phillips screw one here, and then there is a, another Phillips up here, and then one more Phillips up there, and then plus the size uh, 10 millimeter bolt down here. You need to remove all these. After you remove all those screws, then you come underneath the dashboard there are two size uh, 12 millimeter bolts underneath uh, the glove box as you can see there is one on the left side and then there is one over here on the uh, right side you need to remove and these are the bolts this is this size this is a size 12 millimeter you need to remove those also this is for the dashboard uh, those uh, two 12 millimeter bolts they actually hold the airbag to the dashboard 
Now on the dashboard, you remove this uh, beige cover. You just pop it out. Here you go. And then you need to remove this uh, plastic cover for the post on the driver's side. Let me sh show you. There was too much reflection, so we couldn't see the the side post cover here. But we covered the windshield, so you can see it better. So in order to remove this cover on the driver's side, we just pop it up with the dashboard removal tool. You just pull it forward like about one inch, and then you insert your nose plier, and then grab the pin over there, and then you. Twist it like about a 90 degree and then you can pop the side cover out. After we remove it, I will show you how does it look like. Yeah, this is the clip which holds this side cover. You just have to twist it 90 degree in a horizontal position and then you can remove the cover. Otherwise, it would be very hard to pop this cover. And this is the location where it goes in. So when you keep it, when you twist it like a 90 degree, it becomes the, it look identical just like the hole and it pops out easily. And you do the same thing on the passenger side. As you can see, we removed the cover already. Now in this last step, uh, everything from the dashboard is all disconnected. There is no bolts attached to it. Uh, the, f the first thing you do, you just plug, disconnect this connector for the speaker on the dashboard. And from here, you just have to pop the dashboard. Just pop it up so the, all the clips, they come out. I put your hand, both of your hand underneath the dashboard as it's a little bit heavy but tilt to the side and you just lift it up and then you can bring it up and here you go I will put this the dashboard on the bench and I'll show you how to disassemble the cluster uh, from the dashboard in a minute. After you remove the complete dashboard, you can put it on your, your bench and then remove all this uh, Phillips screws which holds the cluster into the dashboard. And one over here, one up here, and then one is in the back. And this is on the right side, this one, and this two. And then these two all the way on the right, you just need to lose them because it, it, the, the cluster is underneath this plastic piece. So you just have to remove those two, then you can slide it out. And this is how the cluster looks like after you remove it. And this is the back of the unit. And this is right in front. And the installation is just a reverse. You just have to follow those instructions backward. And if you need any repair for the cluster, you can send it to High Tech Electronic Services in Van Nuys, California, 818-785-8085. Thank you.